Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. Um, I'm kind of crouching down here next to the bed because the, we have had the most incredible weather here today. We've, I think we've had like one day of rain in the last several weeks. It's crazy. It was actually sprinkling last night and Ken was like, oh my God, it's raining. It's usually the opposite of that here in Vancouver, but it's actually about six in the evening and I just randomly picked up the camera. Um, we've had a good day so far, it's Saturday. Uh, Ken's out with a friend for beer. I've got dinner planned. Chico and I went on a big long walk um, and got some vitamin D and other just like random stuff around the house. I've been watching some live PD actually. I was just downstairs watching that and had a hankering to organize my shoe storage which is under my bed here. It's a disaster. Um, actually what triggered it is that I have been on the hunt for um, new shoes to replace my beige flat mules that I've been wearing non-stop for about a year now. I've actually had them for a few years but I only figured out how to wear them about a year ago and I wore them abroad pretty much the whole year, destroyed them. Um, and I've been looking for something to replace them for a while now and haven't had any luck. There's lots of things that are okay and that would do the trick, but nothing that really sparked my interest until yesterday I found these. I'll put them up here. Um, they're from Tom's and they look like they could be the new replacement pair. I'm hoping. They look pretty awesome. They've got a nice round almond toe so they can be kind of dressy and really casual at the same time. They're just simple, flat, um, nice beige, lightish beige tone um, and they look incredibly comfortable. So I'm hoping that's going to be the end of my search for these shoes. I'm kind of sick of looking at beige mules right now. But in doing all that shopping yesterday and eventually landing on those ones, I ended up looking at a bunch of other pairs of mules and flat shoes and stuff and I just felt like I didn't know what the heck I had under here. Like I just feel very disorganized and I don't even know what kind of stock I have right now. I don't know what shoes I have. We moved um when we moved back home from abroad, I kind of just unpacked and put things in their general spots. Um and gradually I've been reorganizing things. I reorganized my whole closet and all this stuff back here and kind of decluttered, reorganized. So that felt good, but um, because we've been in winter, I have, I've pretty much been wearing just my boots and stuff and all the ones that I have down by the front door. But now that we're in spring, I've been wondering what the heck's under the bed and um, I kind of need to get it all organized so I have, I know what options I have to put on my feet when I want to get dressed in the morning. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, it's the end of the day. I'm gonna do like a multi-day vlog, but we're gonna start out today with a thrifted outfit and organizing my shoes. So let's start with the outfit. All right, so I am in 95% thrift today. Pretty much head to toe thrifted outfit, except for my necklace. My necklace is the only thing that is not thrifted. It's from Misoma. I pretty much wear that one every day. But the top I got the other day, it's actually by Abercrombie & Fitch, um, but thrifted. I think I paid $6 for it. It is super comfy. It's like a waffle knit, almost like a sweater, really light sweater, but I particularly loved the color of it. It's like an oatmeal grayish kind of color, um, and it works perfectly with this midi skirt that I've had for many, many years, but this is one of my best finds. I always say that. All of my finds are the best finds, but <laughs> I really do love this skirt. I don't wear it often enough, but now that the spring weather is fully set in, um, I couldn't resist it. I love this length. Playful, ladylike, and I love the kind of sorbet kind of colors and tones, peachy tones, warm tones of the skirt. And then I just added my really old, I thrifted this belt probably 10 years ago, like high school time. So probably more than 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago. But it goes perfectly, it's nice gold little detail here and it just sits on top of the elastic waist because I didn't really like that showing. It's my least favorite part of the skirt for sure. So I just pull that over it and it kind of brings it all together and looks a little more seamless and then emphasizes emphasizes the waist a little bit more than it would otherwise. But very comfortable outfit. This is kind of like my dressy version of like loungewear at home. It's about as comfy as that. So in total, I think this outfit probably cost less than 20 bucks, definitely less than 20 bucks. So not bad. Okay, so getting into the shoe dungeon here, I have a bunch of Tupperware containers under here. This was for, from an old bed actually that was a little bit lower. So we have some lower ones and then some higher ones that give a little extra room. Only three now, one, two, three. 
And then I've got a bunch sitting down this way as well that just kind of, I kind of just wear them once and then they end up at the foot of the bed or downstairs by the door and they don't get their, make their way back into the bins. But <sighs> I'm hoping I can kind of put winter stuff away, bring spring, summer stuff out and then lay out my favorites down by the foot of the bed so that I have a good idea of um, what the options are. So first, I'm gonna pull them all out. That's gonna be the first thing. There it is. That's a lot of shoes. I'd say I have a problem. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be buying any more shoes, but we all know that's not going to happen. Okay, what next? <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to start on this section, which is all winter boots, winter stuff, things that I'm not going to be reaching for as much anymore, and putting things like this that are in more of a spring shoe box into the winter box. Um, just getting them into their categories a little bit better. Okay, that's winter done. Let's see what else we can eliminate, organize here. Whew. Remember this? I got these in in a thrift store in Paris. I haven't worn them much because I don't really dress up most days, but I love them. Can't wait to wear those. Okay, so I've kept this one mostly heels, kind of kitten heel things, keeping most of my favorite ones closer to the top. Obviously, this is not the best system for shoes because they're all layered on top of each other and I can't really see what's there, but um, working with what I got for now. So I've got wedges, sneakers, um, heels, kitten heels in this one. I think that's about all that's going to fit. And then in this one I'm going to have flats, uh, mules, and sandals. Trying to keep, I'm going to keep the bottom layer things that I'm not going to reach for very often and things that I know I want to get to on the top. Okay, we've switched rooms now. I actually have a whole suitcase, my medium away suitcase that is yet to be unpacked simply because I had nowhere to unpack all of it. So I've got like some of my favorite summer purses and extra sandals and my skirts and stuff still in here. So I'm going to try to dig through, find my shoes because I know there's a pair in here that I have been looking for a couple of times recently. So I'm gonna try to find those and uh, get those stored away where they should be. Here we go. Some of my favorites. I've had these for years. These are awesome ones I found on Shein.com. And my ASOS Espadrilles. Yeah. Oh, and my favorite sandals. These I also need to replace. <laughs> A year abroad is not as glamorous as you might think, guys. It's chaos. Okay, I think that's it. Everything's nicely organized. They're kind of all stacked up on top of one another, so I've got four or five pairs in each row here. Luckily, my feet are small enough that this box is exactly the right size for two rows of shoes. I did get rid of one pair that I know I'll never wear again, and this one is stuffed to the brim. So back under they go. Oh, needs to go over a bit more. I ate like 10 mini eggs earlier. 
Ooh, my body is not used to the uh, sugar rush anymore. I've been trying not to eat so much just straight up candy, but um, couldn't resist today. My hands are just shaking. Like, they feel like they're doing this. My blood sugar is surging. Well, there we go. <laughs> and my heart feels like it's gonna pound out of my chest. My God, I feel useless right now. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I feel much better having that done. I have a little inventory of what I've got for shoes right now. Feels much better. That was making me a little anxious for a while now. <laughs> now the sun's setting. I think I'm gonna go grab myself a beer. Happy Saturday. Um, and I'll see you later or I'll see you at another time. Later on the menje. You just saw the FedEx guy go by. I think it's time to make a run to the mailbox. Welcome to Tuesday. I washed my hair today, which we all know that's a big deal. So I felt the need to vlog it. <laughs> so now we're vlogging today. Ken's currently out for a run. He doesn't know it yet, but hopefully he'll be open to that. I've had a bit of a strange morning. I had that like surge of rage hormone at that time of the month this today and I was getting angry about the stupidest things all in my head but not at anybody luckily yet. <laughs> um, Ken's probably gonna have me eat an extra snack before we go out just to make sure um, she doesn't reappear again but just like so agitated. I hate when that happens. You're mad about nothing. Um, but at least now in my older age, I can really identify it and I know it's a one day thing. That's Chico coughing in the background. More on that in a minute. Yeah, your throat's sore. It drove me even more nuts when I was younger though because I didn't realize that it was completely lining up with my time of the month for a really long time. Um, but now I know that that day it happens. It's only gonna be one day um, and then I can move on. But it makes me get so angry that I'm like flushing with hot, I feel like I have hot flashes, I shake, and everything makes me mad. I just want to like punch a hole in the wall. <laughs> but anyways, that's been the morning so far. Yesterday was a bit of a sad day. <laughs> Poor little Chico had to go in for a small procedure that required a light anesthetic, but still a general, which um, if you're familiar with small dogs and anesthetic, it's a little bit scary. Um, you hear all sorts of horror stories about it not going well. So, um, mom and I went to go pick him up yesterday and he was completely snowed. <laughs> like, complete Bambi legs, couldn't keep his eyes open, flopping around. We weren't allowed to feed him till 10 p.m. yet he was obviously starving. Poor guy. Oh, it's so sad. He was trying to jump up on the couch and kind of like half make it, but not quite. And then just kind of like zigzagging all over the carpet, confused about what was happening. Um, so, I didn't get much sleep last night. He chose to sleep with us all night, um, which was sweet, but I was checking on him constantly. I couldn't fall back asleep, just making sure the little guy's okay all overnight. He was fine, he's much better today, but still snoozy. There he is. Hmm, poor little guy. That was not a nice day and a half. <laughs> Anyways, on the agenda for today, Ken and I are gonna do a little outing to the White Rock area. There is one of the few standing bookshops over there it's crazy. There used to be so many bookshops. Ken loves to read. I'm not really a reader. I hate that I'm not, but I'm not. <laughs> um, more of a visual person. But Ken is a huge bookworm. That's where he likes to spend his disposable income and uh, disposable money. Mine's obviously at the thrift shop, but he's not working. Oh, that must be him home from his run. So we're going to take him out for a little treat to get a book, a new book at Indigo, but the closest one is... Out at Timbuktu, which is mental. There just is not any shop, real bookshops anymore, and he likes to like feel the book, smell the book, browse around, you know. So we're gonna treat him to a new book today. Have a little day date. It's a beautiful day to, for it too, so it's gonna be a nice little drive out. Outfit for today had to be loose and comfortable, and something that doesn't touch my stomach too much. <laughs> so I've gone with what feels like a very boring outfit. These are super old jeans from Forever 21, but they're kind of boyfriend fit, loosey-goosey. Lots of room at the waist here, and then a really old sweater that I thrifted years ago, but I think it's from American Eagle, but again, from many, many years ago. And my Misoma necklace, my Amazon hat, and I don't know, a purse. Probably won't even bring a purse. I just throw my wallet in my back pocket. <laughs> That's that. Food. Lunch day. It's a little bit weird. It's in my traditional snack plate style, but um, odds and ends. 
roast chicken from a couple nights ago, some sliced deli ham, and Activia lactose free. I think this is the mango one. Some mustard. I always love this roast chicken stuff with mustard. And half a bun. I realize that this probably could have created a sandwich and yogurt situation for lunch, but for some reason I wanted it all in pieces today. So there we go. Yummy. Just about to walk out the door and I thought I probably should bring my pain pills. And Ken was like, yep, that's a good idea. Put the AC on in this oh. <laughs> I was just about to say the same thing actually. We often do that. We have one thought, one of us says it, and the other one was just about to. It happens when you've been with somebody for 14 years. But it's AC time. I actually didn't even need to wear a sweater probably. It's hot. call it four corners but it's grand view corners it's kind of like a little outdoor shopping area nothing too fancy or big but it has Ken's favorite store indigo and H&M Aldo a few other random shops we're gonna just wander around first things first classic Tim's Ken's gonna get some get himself a donut hot lunch day we used hot to hot? get. Yeah, I did. I know, back in the day, we used to get the Long John's. I stayed strong today. Didn't even get a coffee. Didn't really want it. And no donut. I'm just gonna drool over his. Riveting business. All right, back home again. Show you what I got. Ken didn't end up getting his book because it's a lot cheaper online and they wouldn't price match. But he did get an agenda, so that was good. And I got the dark denim skirt. I'm gonna try it on again here kept the receipt obviously because I'm not quite sure if it made me look a little heavier through here. I like a A-line skirt. It's what suits me best but I like that it was nice and tight at the waist and then it has the buttons in the fly 
and then it has a slight A-line shape to it. It's nice and dark, not distressed at all. Um, I thought it was pretty good for the price. I think it was $34.99 Canadian. So I have another denim skirt that's very similar, but in a lighter denim. So hopefully that will work out. I'm gonna try it on again. I think I'm happy with it. I love the color for sure. And then it has proper button up fly. Sits nicely right high at the waist. My belly button's actually down here. And then I've got room at the waist to tuck whatever I want in, which I usually do. It's a little more of a straight fit for a skirt than I go for. I don't like anything that hugs too much here. It's just more flattering on my body shape, but so far so good. I think I'll keep it. I got mine in a four, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think I like that. And we actually had to take a detour on the way in because their off ramp that we use normally was closed. It said there was an accident happening there, so we went to the long way around the scenic route. But we heard on the radio on the way home that there's a three person homicide there. Three people found dead in a car in the overpass, under the overpass there. That's crazy. Horrible. So we're gonna watch the six o'clock news, I guess, to find out what the heck happened. This one's the newest favorite. The strawberry is actually really good. All right, I've just been editing the vlog from earlier, but I'm getting going on some dinner. I'm doing a really simple dinner tonight. It's what we do a lot. It's basically a sheep pan bake of veggies, and then usually we'll stick chicken on top of it, but sometimes we'll ro roast a pork tenderloin on the barbecue and just have the roasted veggies on the side. But today I'm doing it a little bit extra. It's gonna be extra tasty today because we had these Johnsonville spicy Italian sausages. Normally I'm not a mincemeat sausage kind of person, but these look particularly good. They are good actually, I had one the other day. So we're just gonna put all the veggies, we're doing zucchini, cauliflower, broccoli, sweet potato, regular potato, onion, garlic if we have it. Um, and then I'm just going to chop up the sausage into slices, little slices, place that all on top of the veggies, add salt and pepper to the veggies, and then the sausages will kind of give off lots of juice and oils to kind of coat the veggies and make them all nice and tasty. So, let's put it together. Sweet potatoes are like, they're very woody, so I always stick those in for a little bit earlier than everything else, maybe 10 minutes, seven minutes, just to get them going a little bit, and then I'll throw everything else on the pan, and that's it. One pan bake, super easy, healthy, tasty, um, particularly healthy, tasty because of this guy.